These days, Las Vegas, Nevada is a bustling destination for world travelers. But not so long ago, other cities in the vicinity far eclipsed what was then just a small outpost. We headed out with our Nissan Armada to see how a couple of these earlier population centers were faring today. About 50 miles south, Searchlight was a major commercial center, and it was linked to the New York Mountains mining region in California by a railroad. At the western edge of that long-gone rail line, not much remains of the town of Barnwell. But Searchlight, while not at the stature of its earlier glory days, is still alive and kicking. Gold was discovered here by George F. Colton in 1897, and the town reached a peak population of over 5,000 in 1907. Searchlight was also connected to the Colorado River by the Quartet Mining Company's railroad, which was put in place in 1902 to carry ore to the mill at the river's edge. The line also served to bring passengers and supplies back and forth to connections with steamships on the river. By 1906, however, Wells drilled in the Searchlight vicinity yielded enough water for a mill to operate in town, and the rail line to the river fell idle. By the 1920s, the gold ore quality was worsening, and Searchlight was in decline. A washout of the rail line to California in 1923 was not repaired because of the reduction in mining activity, and by 1927, Searchlight had turned to a near ghost town with only 50 or so residents. Silent film star Clara Bow and her western movie star husband Rex Bell moved to Searchlight in the early 1930s and lived on their walking box ranch for many years. Their presence brought a number of Hollywood visitors like Lionel Barrymore, Clark Gable, Carol Lombard, Errol Flynn, and others to town. Nowadays, with the population boom in nearby Las Vegas, Searchlight has about a thousand residents, and a newly widened US-95 through town to speed traffic along. You'll still find many reminders of the mining days, with old mine works and buildings interspersed with the more modern structures. To the north and west of Searchlight, the town of Good Springs now sits a few miles off Interstate 15, mostly overlooked or unknown by travelers rushing between Las Vegas and Southern California. Good Springs was the destination for a never-completed railroad, which was also to connect to the mining districts in the New York Mountains and down to Needles, California. The mining history here goes back to 1856, when lead and zinc deposits were discovered. Gold, silver, copper, uranium, and other minerals were also mined in the vicinity, with the activity hitting a peak around 1916. About 800 people lived in Good Springs then, and the narrow-gauge Yellow Pine Railroad linked the town to nearby Jean, Nevada a stop on the Los Angeles Salt Lake Railroad. The tracks of the Yellow Pine were the very same ones which had earlier served duty on the Quartet Mine rail line down in Searchlight. The Yellow Pine Mine was northwest of the town proper, while the mill was right in town. The Pioneer Saloon still does business in town, as it has since Good Springs glory days and it's also home to quite a bit of memorabilia of the boom times. Throughout the town, many remains of mining structures are still evident, as are older buildings mixed in with the more modern, just as in Searchlight. Also, as with Searchlight, the sprawl of Las Vegas is beginning to encroach on the town, but hopefully the remnants of history will be preserved. At this moment in time, 
both good springs and searchlights still retain the unique character of old mining towns, rather than the sanitized suburban sameness that's creeping ever closer, so they're worth taking a look at sooner rather than later. While any vehicle will get you to the towns themselves, only one capable of tackling rough terrain will get you out to many of the old mining structures and railroad beds. Throughout our explorations, our armada was easily able to conquer the rough rocky trails that laced through the mining areas. The Nissan also provided plenty of space and comfort inside to make the drive even more enjoyable. <laughs>